How to get the essential mod in Minecraft 1.21? Start off by going to the second link in the description down below. When you do, it'll take you here. This is the official download page for the essential mod. And go ahead and click download on this page. When you do, it will go ahead and prompt you to download the essential installer. It might start downloading right away, or you may need to keep or save the file, but it's 100% safe to do that. And while this is downloading, go to a quick message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server, where you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs to your server, and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus, it's up 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Something you can't do, really, when you're playing Minecraft with your friends using the essential mod. Plus, it's more difficult to add mods to the essential mod and use them together, and Simple Game Hosting makes all of that easy. So stop struggling to play Minecraft with your friends and do it the simple and easy way at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh. Now the installer has downloaded, as we can see here, Essential Mod Installer. If we minimize our browser, we can go ahead and move this to our desktop from our downloads folder, and uh, it's not going to live here forever. We're just going to need to open it one time. So just double click on it. You may need to confirm you're opening it like a pop up by up here or something like that where you need to click yes and then here we are we are now in a situation where we can easily install essential click create new profile you can name this whatever you want i'm just going to name it by default 1.21 fabric just what it is here by default but you can change it to something like simplegamehosting.com if you want it because that's the best way to play minecraft with your friends and then we want to select the launcher we're using we're going to be using minecraft launcher here the minecraft version we want 1.21 and the mod loader we want if you'd prefer forge you can do that but it's not currently updated to 1.21 so we need to use fabric now we can go ahead and click create and it will create it it's now good to go in. What we can do is click launch here if we want, but what if you were to go ahead and close out of this? How would you launch Essential? Well, let me show you. Go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, we will have an Essential installation. So you don't have to worry about opening up the Essential installer or anything like that every time you launch Minecraft and want to play Essential. Right here it is. Now, in our case, this is called simplegamehosting.com because that's what I changed it to. But for you, it might be 1.21 Essentials Fabric or something like that. Now, in order to see this, if you don't have it when you go up to installations at the top you may need to check modded and once you do you will have this here at this point though we can go ahead and just click play click play again to confirm you're playing mod in minecraft and now the essential mod is going to open up and by the way you can now delete the essential installer and all that from your desktop if you haven't done that already once minecraft is open with essential you'll be able to see that it's active right away um, you can see here the wiki for Essential will open, and you may need to confirm and like set your settings again whenever you open up Minecraft with Essential for the first time, which is what we need to do. Things like turning off music, setting your video settings, all of that stuff. But once you've done that, you will be able to jump in game and play with your friends. On the right hand side here we have this social aspect. If you click on that you'll be able to click friends here and you can add friends here by clicking the add friend button in the top right, entering their Minecraft username and accept friend request here if someone adds you. And then from there we can jump into single player and you'll be able to invite your friends to your world. Now I do want to mention that by default here your installations aren't here, right? Your saves and stuff like that aren't here. You can move those into the essential folder that was created via the Minecraft launcher just like you would install other custom maps and things like that. But once you're in game here you want to go ahead and hit escape and you can click on social and invite a friend by clicking on friends here and inviting them so you could send them you know if they're online you could right click and invite them things like that to your world as well as use all the other features that essential has here like getting to your screenshots and things like that as well as cosmetics all from this menu it is more difficult to use essentials with other mods and things like that so if you want to do that the simple way that's where simple game hosting or other minecraft hosting companies or hosting your own minecraft server comes in obviously i think simple game hosting is the best but it doesn't matter what you use to host a minecraft server in my opinion that's still the best way to play with your friends it gives you more control than the essential mod does and allows you to have more people on the server if you're using a hosting company because this is using your computer's resources so it is a little bit more resource intensive to do this than obviously just playing Minecraft itself. So with that being said, that is how you can invite friends to join your single player world using the essential mod. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.